Hello. Good evening, everybody. Oh, they yeah, can still see that. us. That needs to be fixed, I guess. It I does. need to do something. <laughs> Hello, Hello everybody. Everyone. Hola there, Melissa, Jill. Hello. Just making sure everything is good to go. It looks like it is. We got our links. I'm going to get Sean open chat. It is a beautiful day in Washington. It's a beautiful day, even though we I don't are know if it's in it's COVID been land. Very cloudy and rainy today. And it is very much so. Yeah. Uh, where are we in? Lockdown. Lockdown. Um, we should sound a little different today. Okay. Um, I checked it. We should all sound like one channel versus two. Yes. So I've been be telling him it's been off for a while. He says, I don't remember you telling me this. I have. You know. All right. So welcome, guys. I'm so excited. A couple things before we get going. Um, the links for today's video is either if you're on YouTube, it's below you. If it is... Off to the left, if you're on Facebook, it's probably in the description, but Sean can give you the links at any time if you mm -hmm. want that. If you decide to purchase any of the products, please use our links as this supports us. And during COVID, we can really use that. <laughs> that will make us less stressed, huh? Yes, it would. Um, and uh, definitely check some of the codes because we do have coupon codes pretty much for every partner out there. Um, what are we doing today? Well, we are prepping some services. We have Dixie Bill paint and glazes and everything ready to go. We have some wood you been we're going to be playing with um, today. So we're going to get everything ready and then we will have a second part over on our other Chalk Couture channel. Um, and we have a sneak peek. So if we get, how many viewers are we at? Uh, we if are we get over 95. If we get over 200 viewers, I will show you guys a sneak peek of our bundle that we will have in our cutout group tomorrow. And I'm just going to say if you're a Star Wars fan, you might like it. But I'll put them right over here. Ooh, congratulations, to Shiri. Shiri, her Glowforge came in today. Ooh, get ready for some excitement. Um, as you can see, we have blank boards because Halloween is done. And we were going to redo the wall this week. But with Christmas, literally Thanksgiving next week, that's going to well, change. It's, not, not it's quite Thursday, right. right? No. Yeah, 20, it is. It's on the 26th. So it's a week from this Thursday. Is it, is it a week from seven? Yeah, I guess it would be. Yeah. I can't add white. So, um, last but not least, this Sunday is going to be an auction. So, we will be auctioning off any of our uh, finished goods and some other things around the house that need to go to new homes. So, it will be this Sunday. I don't have the times concrete yet because I will be posting it tomorrow because today I was in come up with Black Friday sales all day. And I really... Hope you guys are having a better day than mine. But my family told me our Thanksgiving is canceled, which is good because it's a big group and big yeah. groups equal. It's like usually like 14 threats. to 16. So we're going to just have to have a little a little Thanksgiving celebration by ourselves, huh, Sean? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to dive right in. Um, before you head down there, Sean. Mm -hmm. Facebook was glitchy. I'm sorry. Um, before we dive down there... Um, so ultimately what we are making is a sleigh. We're going to be making a sleigh that will be finished on our other channel, but we're going to prep it all here. So really what we're prepping right now is the, I guess, the rails of the sleigh and the wood you bend. We're going to be using, of course, Dixie Belle paint, Dixie Belle glazes, Dixie Belle top coat, Dixie Belle metallic paint, and we're going to be using Would You Bend. Now, before we dive in, let me show you kind of some differences here. Um, Sean will show you while I get some stuff ready. This is Dixie Bell Metallic. We're specifically going to be using this color. And this... Sorry, guys. I don't know what he's doing, so give me my, one my sec. Not, it was underneath my keyboard. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So basically, we're going to be using Dixie Bell Metallic Paint. This is the metallic paint, um, specifically Silver Bells, and which or Silver Bullet, sorry. Um, but you can see the metallic paint. Very cool. We have a video on it, so you can see all of that. And then we are going to be also using their glazes. And here is some glazes. We've also posted this video, so if you have questions. Now, there is different glazes. There is glazes that give it kind of a distressed look. There is glazes that give it kind of a pearl uh, metallic look. 
all of that stuff. So um, I'm super excited. So if you have questions on glazes or the colors, that is there. Now, I'm going to go grab something. I'll be right back, Sean. All right. I'll look to see if there were any questions or anything. Yeah, it's probably a good thing to go ahead and cancel it. Okay. We will get together. We always get together. So it's not like it's a So big ultimately, deal. this is what the sleigh is going to be. So um, I am lucky enough to have amazing teammates that showed me this trick, which they found with other chocolate drawer designers. The way we make this sleigh is with stir sticks. So we got these at Home Depot. These are three pack of five gallon sticks. And these are, you. do you have it on autofocus? Because it keeps going in and oh, out. Oh, I thought I turned it off. Nope. Um, so this here is three pack, five gallon. This is a 10 pack, one gallon. This, they were both 99 cents. This will be the sleigh, bottom of the sleighs for this. And then this will be the ones that go up here to support it. Um, so I just wanted to show you what we're using here. And I'm going to need two of these. And I do four of these. Now, most people just do uh two they just do the two at the top i like the look of four plus in my opinion i feel like it just makes it much stronger whether this is true or not i do not know um now these do have measurements on them so right here you'll see i don't know if you can see that sean can show you it has uh measurements mm -hmm. okay i can't stand it i'm gonna show you guys even though we're not there but i'm gonna show you what our sale is tomorrow you guys ready for this come out to us so i can show you so for those of you who do not oh sorry sean's trying to quit nope. ecam i hit the q versus the one which means you tried to quit no q is quit <laughs> i know so you did try to quit. I meant to hit one. Yeah. That's right. So um, for those of you who do not know, we have a group that is called um, our cutouts, bundles, and uh, I forget the rest of it. Cutouts group, I think. And this is something that's kind of a passion of Sean and Jazzy's. And we just got done making the elf ornaments and they're already gone out. But I wanted something. There's one around the corner. There is. That, I'll go grab it. On that table that's out there, the, there should be the elf ornament. Yes. So we just got done making these and shipping. So this one is already shut, closed. You can't get this one. We might reopen it, but look at how cute it was. Now, these are going to go up tomorrow. This is our first time using actual um, wood grain in a project. So these will be a bundle. You'll get all of them, all 12 of them. Mm -hmm. And we will have different stains or different colors. So these... You won't have to paint. You won't have to do anything. You just have to put ribbon on them. And I cannot wait to show you. I specifically wanted Star Wars. My brother is a huge Star Wars fan. So I wanted something Star Wars. Tell me what you guys think. Are you ready? Okay, Sean, go back down. So first up we have... So that there is mahogany. Mahogany. And it's giving you a weird shadow. It doesn't... Here we go. Look at that. All right, so mahogany. Then Sean's got to tell you what wood stains these are. That one is. Those these are aren't all this, of them. It goes this way. No, there's no. So Where's all one, the for them? They're all in the. Can you I said get, you said just get a thing. No, I would like to see all twelve, okay. so we can show them all twelve. That one is hickory. Hickory, dickory, dock. This one is cherry. That's cedar. Cedar. I don't know what they are, guys. So I'm going to tell you what they all are. I just, I can't even stand it how cute these all turned out. So let me get the other six. There's a total of six of them. So they're going to go up tomorrow. So make sure you guys are looking from the Ken from the car. They'll be on a pre-order for a couple days. And look at them. We got the, you might have to zoom out. Yep. This is all mahogany. I just grabbed the mahogany stack. So mahogany, this was the cedar. This is, um... Cherry, I take that back, mahogany, cherry, black walnut, white oak. Look at those. You won't have to paint them. You won't have to nope. do anything. We have their three and a, 
uh, 3.15 inches tall. You'll just have to put a ribbon on them. And um, we debated whether to sell them as a set, meaning like all in one color or a mixture like this, but we're gonna let people choose the colors and we'll have a mixture option. But aren't they so cute? So mm -hmm. be looking for my Ken from the car. They are nice and thick ornaments. Look at that. So yep. if you are a Orange. Star Wars fan or know someone that is a Star Wars fan, you're gonna wanna be there tomorrow yep. because I think this is one of our best sets we've ever had. And if you want to, you could stain them. You could. They are, they are stainable. We are gonna have a um, a draft wood too. So if you wanna paint them, we'll have that option for you. So I just couldn't wait, but we'll show them at the end too as well. So uh, let's get started though. We are gonna start painting. Um, I'm gonna be doing, like I said, a glaze everything. Sean will be looking for questions and comments. And we are gonna start with paint, which is manatee gray. This is a Dixie Belle gray. And I'm gonna grab their, uh, their- uh, Flat one and a half inch. Yes, one and inch. that is their, uh, what kind is that called again? I always forget what so these are called. synthetic. Synthetic, can you explain what synthetic is and why these are good yes. and what happens if they're out of stock? What, are, what should they the do? The best thing to do if they're out of stock, uh, there's a, a thing on there where it says, uh, email me when they come in stock. So do that, and as soon as they come in stock, they give everybody an email saying, they're here, they're here, and then you go rush and get them. Yes, um, and so I will do better to try to tell you guys when they're in stock, because they do go quick. Oh, yes, they do. Because um, that way you guys can use my link, and we will get credit, mm -hmm. and you will be happy, and we will be happy, and it will be awesome. Um, as for synthetic, obviously it is a non-natural brush, uh, like uh, their French tip and their bell. Uh, these are synthetic. They are very fine. They hold a lot of paint, so you don't have to keep dipping them in the can. They give you a much tighter um, brush mark versus the uh, natural brush gives you a little wider because they're a little thicker. Um, but they're very nice. Uh, you can they have nice off, coverage. You got beautiful coverage. You can put these in water and just let them sit. Um, the stuff that holds them, the glue or the material, is not does not break down. Mm -hmm. The uh, the hilt collar is stainless steel, so it will not rust. Uh, so they're very nice. They're very, very nice. I love them. They are worth the price. Mm -hmm. um, they are my go-to brushes now. I still like their French tip and their bell brush for distressing. So we'll be using those here in a sec. But these are great. And Dixie Bell's paint is thick paint. So the coverage is great. And you don't have to worry about... Uh, you know, using a lot of paint, it goes really far. In fact, in our paint or our uh, review on the paint brushes, you can see where Sean uses how much coverage you get out of one essentially dip. Um, so we have one coat already down on the side. I'm gonna hit this with the dryer and then we're going to do the back side. So give me one sec. Oh, um, if you grab my phone, Sean, it's right there. I paint on my hands. You can start the music, mm. the morning light music. So we have music in the background, just not too loud. So I hope you guys are having a better day. I don't know what state you live in. We are in a state that is Apple Music, then Playlist, then Morning Light. Um... We're in a state that obviously is on lockdown again. We can go out. We just aren't supposed to. And this will be interesting for Thanksgiving. Like, I don't know how many of you are not going to be celebrating it with your families because they made a good point on the news and they said, you know, as hard as it will be not celebrating with our families, it's better to not celebrate with your families this year so you can celebrate next year. And I was like, what does that mean? And then I was like, oh, because they're, they won't die. A little morbid, but true. I know the Star Wars ornaments are so cute. Janet came in late. She didn't see them. We'll show them again at the end. Janet, you're going to need them. You're going to. If you like Star Wars, you're going to need them. They are cute. And Sean finally got to use his wig. 
We bought this wood and he's been wanting to use it in something. Mm -hmm. And he got to use it. Yay. Here, you can show it again while I dry him over here. Are you gonna mute? Yeah. No? So for those who just joined us, uh, we're going to be offering these tomorrow. They're done in different types of wood, wood grains, and they are the true wood grains, but it is a plywood, so the center core is a core. And they're so a quarter of an inch. Quarter inch, so they're thick. So uh, the bulk of them, which is all of these, is mahogany, because I just grabbed the mahogany. This one here is black walnuts. But then there's a lighter black walnut on the other side, but it's black walnut, that's the main. Uh, let's see, this is cedar, and it is cedar on both sides. And yes, it does smell like cedar, because it is cedar. That box smells so good. Yes. Uh, this is cherry wood, I believe. Yeah, I think that one's cherry wood. And this one here is hickory, and what's funny about hickory... Every time you see hickory, I want to go dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory has different colors throughout its throughout the wood, so you'll get like a, a light, medium, dark, just because that's the way it is. It's it's weird, very cool stuff. This one here is white oak. Uh, white oak, black walnut, cherry, and mahogany, and I think there's one more. I'll go back, but that's this is the gist of them. So there's uh, and we will have a a. Uh, just a draft board if so if you wanted to paint them like you know yeah. for yoda green black for the other ones yeah. um they will be live tomorrow for pre-order and i think they are for as thick as they are and the natural wood um i think they are a steal of a price yes um and it's, you won't have to do anything with them because unless you want to paint them but they're really nice looking um and I already am telling you that our next bundle after this one may or may not be Disney related. That's all I'll say. Hi, Miss Allie. Allie definitely wants probably Star Wars ornaments on her tree. I'm sure she would love them. So that way Luna can rip it off and chew them up. Yeah. Essentially Luna chew toys is what we call them. Which uh, the puppies today, we had to wash off their feet because they came in and they were just muddy. And don't forget, Sunday we are doing our auction. It mm -hmm. will be on our other channel. Not well. I don't know. Wouldn't it be this channel? I think we might do it on this channel because I'm going to auction off more than just my chocolate tour stuff. There you go. Ooh, Kim Schmidt says for Thanksgiving she's having Portello's beef sandwiches. Oh, those are. I just want their cake. Uh, Can you send me their cake? That cake oh is God. so good. We got it about this time last year from Miss Amanda. Yes. And beautiful. I've dreamt about that cake. Uh, Janet, there are 12... In the set. In the set. Why isn't that going up? There it goes. Yeah, there's 12 in a set. I had more than 12 because I grabbed a couple and then I grabbed a stack, so... Somebody said something about... Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, if we ever get to... If we ever get to Chicago, I want to go there and actually... Because imagine somewhere. what it would be like in person. If in it was person, actually when fresh. I, oh my goodness. Because Sean didn't think it was going to be that good just heated up like that. He was like, oh, I'm sure they'll be okay. But then when we ate it, that cake, I just, I dream of that cake. All right. I am going to go wash my hands off. If you would be so kind to dry mm -hmm. that real quick. Okay, I'm going to mute us while we do this. There we go. 
Did they cancel Black Friday and store sales? Not online, no. Um, most people, to be honest, I think most stores, not people, I should say, most stores are doing their Black Fridays now. Um, and I'm telling you this. Okay, these are the, um, I'm tell uh, let me finish my statement. I'm telling you this. I need a little bit of Christmas in my life. I see all these people putting their Christmas up early, and we are going to wait until probably Thanksgiving since we are doing it from our house, and we might put up our tree that night. I don't know. Um... But I've seen a lot of people do it early. Now, these here are Would You Bend. Now, Would You Bend um, is literally that. It is wood you can bend when you apply heat. And we uh, are in the process of filming our review on it. And what would you think about this stuff, Sean? It's really cool. I mean, you can literally do anything with this. Uh, if you ever go to their website and look at their videos on what they do with it, because it's, uh, what's her name? Solly. And she'll Sally. do it. Solly. She'll do some stuff with them, and it's amazing what the stuff can do. It's just crazy. So I'm just getting a quick coat of black on this uh, to match the railings, and then we're going to start our top coat and then some glazing. Mmm, Pam Dawkins, smoked brisket and ribs. Oh, for Thanksgiving. That sounds good. It does, doesn't it? You're not, a, you don't like barbecue though. Nope. All that smoky flavor. Without, this is without the sauce, just as is. Mm. It's very good. I'm like very excited for you that that sounds good. All right. That's looking awesome. All right, now we can dry that and move on to the next. Moving on. I'm gonna dry, I'm gonna mute. All right, so um, before we just I do the glazing, um, we in our review video, uh, I didn't do a top coat over my paint, and I figured, oh, it's not a big deal, and then I quickly realized that my paint. When I go do the glaze, it would easily chip off. So I do recommend doing a top coat if you're gonna use Dixie Belle glaze. I'm just using the satin coat. It doesn't take a ton. Um, and it dries really, really quick. And essentially what it's gonna do is it is going to It was not muted a second ago. It wasn't. It literally, I saw the green line going back and forth. I don't know, Sean. It's never your fault. I do know that. It ever. Is, it is my fault. Never bad. your fault. All right. So we are going to just do a quick top coat. It comes in satin. So you could do satin. You could do uh, flat or gloss. And Sean has me always pick satin. Uh, I think that goes back to us painting our house. He always wants satin or eggshell. He doesn't like high gloss and he doesn't like flat. So whenever I have a choice, for whatever reason, satin is my go-to. So we're just going to place this on. I'm not worrying too much about, um, oh my gosh, did I get a great coverage because uh, really it's just giving us a peace of mind when we start doing the glazing. It dries clear and it is uh, like all their stuff. It's real easy to use. 
It doesn't take a lot. The coverage is great. And uh, it's my biggest thing is easy peasy. Like sometimes top coats, you have to make sure like, oh, it, you can't put it over this. This is pretty self-explanatory. So we're just going to put it on the wood you bend as well. And the thing I like probably the most about it is it dries super quick. Let me go up to this for a sec because mm -hmm. this is kind of boring. Um, I'm telling you guys, this is I am ready for 2020 to be over. It is just depressing. And sales are, you know, slow, which I get it. And things are rough. So we just got to find a way to find a happy place. Right, Sean? That's right. Because I don't think anyone's like, wow, 2020 is my year. But we have the choice to make it a better year. And you know how you do that, Sean? With jello shots. <laughs> There you go. I swear those jello shots are the only thing getting me through right now. <laughs> because here's the deal. We are in this house all day, all night, and it is now dark earlier. And like 4 30. Sometimes dark. Sean's in Sean's world. So I'm literally all by myself. It's true. Poor everyone sound the oh poor Ken. Poor Kenny. Poor Kenny. Where did we get these? We got those at uh, Costco. We're gonna get more if I can find them. You can always make them too. Not hard. Can you hear the music? Yeah, you have to say that uh, new grandbabies are a great thing to have. Come on, say hi. Miss. Little miss, little girl. Cece, come on. Cece. Hey. Come oh, mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. She goes, so her new thing this morning is in the morning when I get up, I, go, of course, go to the bathroom and then I come out and I come in and I, she just comes in and she's waiting at the door and her whole butt wags and I say, good morning, little girl. Good morning, little girl. And she gets so excited. You go, good morning, little girl. You so cute. Come on, little girl. Come on. She's bigger than her mama. Come on. Yeah, Kathy, just in the Costco section where all the alcohol is, we don't have liquor stores anymore, Tammy. We used to, but now you can get liquor anywhere now mm -hmm. so it's 10,000 square feet or bigger yes okay so we have all of our um, paint down we have our top coat on so I am going to start doing the glaze now we're gonna do oh excuse me we're gonna do a couple different glazes so actually I lied we're not yes we are we're gonna do we were gonna do three but now I'm only gonna do two so we're gonna start with grunge, and then we're gonna do black, and they actually look pretty much like the same color, but they dry darker. Um, so I'm gonna start with grunge, and I always recommend shaking these up. And here's the deal. So the, the basically the way glazes work is you can either apply it on 
let it dry a little bit and take a brush and take it off. You can put a all over kind of coat, but this stuff is pretty, it dries pretty quick. Um, so I'm going to start with the grunge and just go back and forth with it. And the reason why we did that top coat essentially is this paint will soak up your glaze pretty quick. Um, so this first coat really is kind of your base coat over on the top coat. And you're not going to really see it at first until we dry this. Right. And then you'll kind of see it pop. But the more we add, it's just like anything else. Once you start layering it, it's really going to come You can along. already see the darkness coming through now. Yep. Okay, so we're just going to push those ones. Let's get this guy over here. So you can kind of already see it darkening up. So this one's the grunge. So the grunge, when it dries, it gets a grungy look, kind of a um, brownish gray look. And then we'll do the black on top of that because that'll give us this really nice black look and we'll get this really pretty look. And then we'll end with the Would You Bend pieces. Okay, so I have the base down. I'm just gonna apply some heat to this really quick. little girl all right so i'm just going to take a shop towel now and any extra just kind of brush it off now you could do this in the beginning before you dry it would get it a little bit of a better so now that we have our first kind of coat down now i'm going to take this brush and it doesn't take a lot um and depending on the look you want you can use different brushes so i'm going to get my brush here and I'm just going to get a nice streaky look from this. Just back and forth. What are you eating, little girl? And then just lightly, if you're gonna use a shop towel, do not use a ton of force because it will wipe it all off, unless that's what you're trying to do. Um, and it really depends on the look you're going for. So you can go for like our glazes that were more metallic. We wanted an all over look, so that's what we did. All right, so before I move on to black, I'm just going to take this one and this time I'm gonna do it a little bit on the thicker side. <clears throat> Alan asked, where do we go for our dinner for our anniversary? Mm. Remember? Oh, goodness gracious, yes. I know, I just don't remember. They started with an A, right? E. E, Europa. Europa. It was good. It was very good. I had this wonderful uh, puff pastry type of uh, Italian meats and cheeses inside of it. It was so good. And then the next day we went to Applebee's and got their yum, 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 yummy drinks. Yes. I think COVID has, might make, is making me crave alcohol, possibly, <laughs> allegedly. You guys, a year ago, would have we ever thought like, COVID, that's a funny name. Not funny anymore. Okay. So you can see I'm putting it on pretty thick. And as it dries, I'm not gonna remove this. I really want that thick look. And I'm gonna, once this dries, before I do the black, I'll show you the difference. And as Sean has said in a lot of my other videos, you can add layers onto layers to achieve different looks. 
So don't be afraid. I think when Sean first played with it and even Jazzy, you are a little afraid because it is something that once it dries, it is permanent. You would have to paint over it. But the way to think of glaze is put it where you want it and then use the heat and then use it um, to achieve different looks. Okay. So we have it kind of where I want it, real streaky. I'm gonna turn on the heater, or the blow dryer. Pay attention. Sorry guys, Sean's kind of in La La Land today. I'm not in La La Land. <laughs> okay, I won't say anything anymore. <laughs> you are free to do whatever you want during the broadcast. Somebody's asking a question. Where did it go? Hold on. Kristen asks, how many coats of paint did you put on it and why? We did one coat. Only needed to do one coat because uh, we weren't covering anything up. A lot of the paints can be done in one coat. If you're trying to cover something and it didn't quite do it on one coat, then you can do two, even possibly three unless you're gonna be doing multiple colors and you do more. All right, so I'm gonna go into the black. The black definitely looks like a blue until it dries and it does dry black. So on this guy, I'm gonna grab just a, these, I just got them on Amazon. They're kind of a cheap um, chip brush because I kind of really want a distressed kind of look. So let me show you the difference of just that glaze with this glaze. You can see right there, we have that nice grunge glaze and then we have that gray. So it does give it a really cool look. And then on the black glaze, I just dip it into the lid here and then I'm gonna go back and forth. And this glaze, if you do it very thin and you just keep going back and forth with it, it will start drying on its own. You don't have to really do too much. We'll put it off to the side and we're gonna do about three different coats of glaze and then I'm gonna finish with a top coat of silver. So just add a little bit of black. So I have to say, I've been doing a faux kind of always wood finish to kind of give a, with the paint, Dixie Belle paint, kind of this faux wood. And I really like the kind of finish this glaze has been giving us um, on a lot of stuff. So even though it feels a little intimidating at first, it's super easy to use. That's one thing I like about Dixie Belle products is how easy they are to use. 
and the looks we get. Um, so, all right. So, I'm gonna grab my shop towel once again, very gently go back and forth with it. And this, I will say, is why we did a top coat. By going back and forth like this, it can um, start rubbing the paint off underneath of it. And the top coat will stop that. Plus, it won't absorb. If you do not put a top coat, this chalk paint will just absorb the glaze. And this uh, allows it to not absorb it. So, just going to go back and forth with it. Your goal is not to wipe it off. It is to dry it. But you want to, you can see here how much I have. You can still see the blue. So by going back and forth, when it starts going from that blue to black, that's when it dries. But in that process, you are technically wiping some off of it. All right. So let's add a couple more layers. Little girl, you are killing me with my back. I don't know why you have to sit that right there in between everything. Can you scoot over with my daddy? Girl. Sweet girl. Okay, so I'm going to kind of let these air dry. While they're air drying, I am going to grab these, thank you, Sean, um, these corner pieces. And these I do want to be pretty dark compared to these. So I am going to start with my grunge which is right here. And this stuff, let's grab, I'm gonna grab this kind of brush and I'm gonna do, you're gonna see me doing a lot of pouncing on this, but basically once again, this first coat's really going to, even though we put that top coat, that first coat really is kind of that I don't want to say base coat, but it really is kind of. Now the cool thing on the wood you've been molding or any molding it really, um, this is kind of where I think glaze is really shining because it will start pooling in here once we start layering it. You're going to get this really cool look. So I'm going to put it on pretty thick and then um, I just take my shop towel and dab it at first. Just like that. And then I'm going to dry these and we'll start on our second layers. Now you can really start to see the difference between the layering. Awesome. Okay. So let's. So, Betsy has a question about our U, U bend. Okay. U bend. She says, can you bend it after you paint it or mm -hmm. only before? You can do it either way. So this one I am going to put on pretty thick and let it kind of pool and then I'm going to leave it off to the side and kind of start letting it air dry because we're going to move on to the black one and that way I can finish these.
All right. As those dry, let's finish our black up on here. I'll put my grunge over here. Grab these last four. And I'm going to have to dry them first, and then we'll do our final coat. So we're going to mute real quick. loving it. We watched the uh, Lego holiday special and it was so good. It was. It was really cute. It was a very good story. I think Lego fans will love it. I think Star Wars fans will love it. It had its funny moments. I will say you kind of need to have watched some of the Star Wars. I guess you don't have to, it just would make a little more sense in certain points. Very freaky that it turns black, Kim says. It is. This one here, is this the black one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the other one, the grunge is more of a dirty brown. All right, so I'm going to uh, dry these. All right, so I'm going to finish it by grabbing this black and this one here, and I'm going to kind of splotch it first. Nancy stated that they had a ceiling paint that... They put it on purple, but it dried white. Really? Very bizarre. It is bizarre stuff. It is kind of freaky if you're a newbie and you're like, it's blue though. And, but it does dry that really pretty black. So. Now, if we were not to really manipulate this, if we just kind of blotch it down like this, it's going to stay in that place. It'll take longer to dry, but you will get that really cool look to it if that's what you're going for. We're not, so I'm just putting it on and then <clears throat> I'll take a brush afterwards, but this way we get it in these concentrated areas. Kathy asks, Ken, do you find glaze easier than dry brushing? Yes. For the look you want, yes. Dry brushing almost takes a very... Uh, a technique where this is uh, the glazing automatically it kind of as you go back and forth you can see let me see let me pull up here mm -hmm. so like look at right here when I go back and forth see how it automatically does kind of a wood grain to it like it's easy to achieve because that glaze gives it that wood grain so you're not it's you don't have to try as hard for sure okay so for the last go around I am gonna grab another brush doesn't matter what you just basically want it to be dry and the reason you want it to be dry is this last coat will we're just going to dry by going back and forth as you can see right here and if you have one with glaze on it it's just going to smear it where we want those nice marks and see what it did there by doing that splotching 
we have this really cool weathered look to it now. All right, so I'm gonna let these air dry a little bit. Sean, will you hand them to me? Absolutely. We'll let those dry, and then I'm gonna work on my other. Ready to remove this? Yeah. No? yeah. You can just fold it in half, probably. Okay. Hi, Tim, I ask, what's that music? It is called Morning Light Music. If you, um, I thought I had the link down below, but if not, if you just look them up on iTunes, it will be just Morning Light Music. It is a composer that we paid a annual or a lifetime fee, and because of it, we don't get copyright. So this way we can have music. Any other music, you get copyright on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And so... And his stuff is really, I like it. Okay, so we're going to add another layer of grunge onto this. And it's starting to pool. That's what we want. And then I'm going to start pouncing it. And what this will do is almost give it a, I don't want to say a metal look, but kind of a really cool look. I'm going to dry it. see where by pouncing it we get this kind of cool look now there's still a little bit in here and that's fine we're just going to take our shot towel and just pounce in there to get that pooling but see how it's drying and you're getting this kind of grungy look to it that's what we want so Fatima says the glaze is almost a non-deliberate look yes Okay, so we're going to do just two more layers of the, uh, or one more layer, excuse me, of the grunge, and then we're going to move on to black. So this one I'm really going to pounce into these spaces. And I'm just going to keep pouncing until it's almost dry. So that's the reason I wanted to use this kind of dry brush, is you can let it pool in those areas, and it will eventually dry, or you can use a dryer to manipulate it, or a shop towel. But if you don't put a ton on here and you just kind of go back and forth, it will start drying on its own just with the air. And that's what Sean noticed when he was doing the review film the first time was, I said, you didn't use a shot towel. And he goes, you really don't need to if you use your brush back and forth. It, after a few minutes, it will dry on its own. All right, we are done with the grunge. Now I am gonna grab the black and we're gonna go heavy on this because this basically, I want it to look like a metal on the top of my um, sled. So we're gonna go pretty thick on this. We're gonna do, um, start with this guy. I'm going to put it on each of it. I'm going to let it dry and pool down in here. And then we're going to do some pouncing on it. And the good thing on this is, is you can really see where it's going to pool because it's blue. So you get this really kind of preview of, oh, that's where it's going to stay if I let it. And there is no rhyme or reason. I'm just going in and hitting it.
All right. So we're gonna do the final one and then pretty thick. And then I'm gonna take a brush and go back and forth quickly and it will start to dry. But what we really wanna get here is in, I don't know how tight you can get on the shot, but um, we wanna get into these, these crevices down in here. So you almost want it to be where you don't see those crevices. We're just gonna let that chillax. If you guys didn't see, Sean has his second video one up today, his Tex-Mex. And thank you for editing. You are welcome. Yeah, that's what else I did today was edit and get that going. A very productive day. Very Not money-wise, but work-wise. All right, so we have it on there pretty liberal amount. And now we want to find a dry... And I'm just going to move some of these out of the way. And like I said, just kind of going back and forth, you're gonna start seeing it dry, but pooling in those spots where we want it to. So once we get it to this point, I'm gonna pick it up and dry it. And don't forget, if you do, because we are going to see this, we want to hit our sides. Like so. And then I'm going to finish it by letting it air dry over there on that one. Um, just a final glaze so we get a really nice even amount. Put this guy over here to chillax. So let's do the same. We'll do a final dry. It should be good. Now you can mix this with a little bit of paint um, if you want a darker color, which makes it nice. All right, so I'm going to grab this one. Back and forth. And then grab it. Rebecca asks, so what's the name of my new channel? Um, it's Cooking with Sean. Mm -hmm. And um, it's Cooking with Sean, but the URL for everything because Cooking with Sean is already taken. pretty much taken. It's in the kitchen with Sean. Right. But the, your name is Cooking with Sean. You're just all the URLs and Facebook and Instagram will be in the kitchen with Sean. Gina said that she did my tech mix with hamburger and put in beef stock. Ooh. Yum o, oh, and I'm gonna make it for a chip dip, but leave out the stock. Nice job. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna let these dry. I'm gonna clean up. You go up test for a quick sec. You betcha. And we're pretty much done with these. We'll do one final quick look. Let's grab this, put the lid on. We can throw that away. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. Okay.
Wow, Deb, that's pretty cool. New DuPont Air Crisp and Fire. And your last one uh, wore it out. That's pretty good. All right. So the last thing we are going to do is add a little bit of sparkle by using some silver bells. Now, you don't need to do this by any means. Um, but... I think it's going to add a little bit to it. So first thing I'm going to do is make sure we're dry. And because I forgot to get my sides here, all you need to do is take a baby wipe and just kind of brush along the sides. And it's going to naturally kind of give it a grungy look anyways. So I'm just going to take that baby wipe up and down and just like that. So we want a pretty broad because we don't want to put a ton of this on, but I do want a little bit of sparkle. So I'm just going to use the lid and then just go back and forth really quick. Hit my sides just in case I missed it on the grunge look. And even though it goes on pretty, it looks like pretty thick, this stuff dries pretty, um, like if you have black transparent, yeah. And just look at that, just a little bit of that silver makes it really look amazing. Here's before and the after. So what I'm gonna do is, even though this shouldn't be visible, just for insurance, if someone does see the other side, let's just add a little bit of silver on the back side so that way it doesn't look like we just forgot it. And then this is done. Look at that, it's gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna do that to all of them. You can go test for a little bit, Sean, while I do this. Any questions on this? Double check. So, what would you say is pros and cons about glaze that you, you personally feel? I think the only thing you have to know is which one is a good one to use for what you're using and how much do you put on? Obviously, the thinner you put on, the, the less you'll see, but it's going to be there. Like your gold, the, the bronze, and whatever, all those metal style colors. But things like the other ones that we had um, are pretty good. I really like the grunge. I like these, the grunge and the black. Do the Van so Dyke well. Brown. Yeah, the Van Dyke Brown is very cool. All in all, they're, it's really cool. You just, it's a, it's a, do it, see how it works, work with it, play with it. I would say that it. the biggest thing is, is if you're looking for that grungy, really kind of look, antique look, you're going to want to use the Van Dyke Brown, the, the grunge, the black. If you're looking for an overall all over glaze, that's where the metallic and the, the I love the silver. pearlescence come in and stuff. So the silver, this is a paint, it's not a glaze, but I will say it, especially if you water it down or put it over a darker color because it does dry kind of transparency it just gives it a cool silver look but we also don't lose our glaze so you can see there we're not losing that glaze we're getting a very cool color throughout it all so there's with the glaze side and then that's straight up silver so it's a pretty big difference mm -hmm. I think it was, Bessie said, it looks like a real shiny sled blade. That's what we were going for. Nice. All right, so these are just the other ones. I'm just going to run my baby wipe down the sides because we didn't do a good job on our sides. But we're going to hit it with the silver anyways. So grab this, this, and this. And let's add just ever so slightly silver to this. 
Patty says it almost looks like metal. Isn't that what's crazy? Wait till you see our elements that we're going to be doing here in a sec. Kayleen says, my son loves to cook. I just showed him one of your videos. He's going to try some of them. Excellent. Oh, cool. Glad to hear it. That's how you do it. I think somebody else said their son's going to try doing it as well. This one again is called the Silver Bullet Moonshine yes. Metallics from Dixie Bell. All right, so before I flip this over to do the backside, I will want to dry these because it's still wet and we don't want that look to come off. So let's go ahead. Look at that back. That's what I love about this metallic paint. Just so this way we're not like, ooh, that's gross looking. We can just use that and it will cover those marks. And then we just have to let it dry. This stuff is so easy. This metallic paint, I have to say, is probably the, the best metallic paint I've used. Um, you can do multiple coats. Um, you should grab that one that's yellow to show them the difference between putting it on the white, the black, the, all the different looks you could achieve. So <clears throat> this one here, this has got black and then this one is white and then this is uh, raw. I'm sorry, this is the actual yellow that's closest to it, and this one's raw wood. So you can see how there's a difference, and this is only two coats. When we did one coat, it was very noticeable, so we did two coats, and just by putting a color behind it can change the look of your metallics. This uh, rose pink here has the same thing. This is the black, obviously. The other ones are so much darker that you can't really see it too much. It's really hard to see the other colors. I mean, this one is the raw because you can really see the wood grain in it. Yeah, Heather, we buy all of, we get we buy all ours online. What? All our uh, paints uh, from Dixie Bell are from online. Yeah. Because she says she gets hers through a local retailer. You can get them through a retailer in Spokane. We just choose to go online. Yeah. Are they cheaper online? I don't know if they're cheaper online or not. You would have to go online and find out just to check. Especially when you can get them in different sizes from... Cover them in store though. Yeah, that's we did see it. That's where we saw it. Yeah, it's our open. All right. So here is those corner pieces. And you can see it's still not... 100% dry, but that's okay. We're gonna do this metal a little bit over it. And so I'm gonna just dip it a little bit in the metal. I'm gonna hit my sides first because they will be visible. And then almost like a dry brush, I'm gonna just go over the top and hit those spots. And this is when you can kind of check your sides, make sure that it's there. And let me dry this. Deb asks, do they offer starter kits online? As for Dixie Bell? Dixie Bell? I don't think so. No. 
Yes, he says, love those colors you're using. Isn't it fun? All right, so I'm just checking my corners and I'm gonna go put this off to the side and it's gonna air dry the rest of the way. Let's grab another one and dry, ah, dry. Now the key is not to use too much silver. You also notice I didn't grab butcher paper, I grabbed parchment paper because I don't want the butcher paper to absorb all of the silver paint because I want it to sit on top of the brush and if I use butcher paper, it's going to absorb it out of the brush. So I really want it to sit on top so I can mix a little bit of that glaze with the metallic paint and this paint then stays you can see there's not much on there, so we're just gonna ever so slightly grab those any glaze that we can see, pick it up, and then using the silver bullet to get into those spots. And you can see just how much it just makes it shine. Nice. That one will air dry. That's so cool. Very, very cool. All right, last one. And this metallic paint goes a long way. Um, so it comes in, I think these are 32 ounces? 16. 16. And it goes a long way. I've only used stuff out of the cap, so. You can always add more, it's harder to take it off. So I always kind of just start and then if I need to add more, but really we don't want to get rid of that, that grunge look. We're just adding a highlight of that silver. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands and throw away that and put the lid mm -hmm. on that and go back mm -hmm. to us. I'm gonna go wash this because it's me icky. What was that? Wash this before it's okay. Washed. All right. So that is how we are gonna distress. Pretty fun, right? Um, the biggest thing I've learned about glazes, the metallic paint and stuff, for sure on glazes, it is all about where you position it. So if you put it in thicker areas, remember you can remove it with a dry brush, you can remove it with a shopped cloth. Um, so the ways to think of it is you're either doing a whole glaze over it and drying it, or you're doing a glaze and then removing it by, um, like I said, a brush or a, a shop cloth, and really it's concentrating it. So the way I like to think of it is if you put a rate like a grape in a dehydrator, it's going to dehydrate all of the liquid out and you're going to have a wrinkly raisin. The same thing applies to glazes. You're putting a lot on and you're either drying it or you're removing it with something to dry it. And it's going to basically go from that overall and concentrate down into those crevices and corners. So if you are going to use a shop cloth like this to remove it very lightly, very lightly. Um, the thing on glazes is once it's dry, it's dry. You can't go rehydrate it to get it to come back alive. Just like you can't put a raisin in water and get a grape again. Um, it all is about, um, 
If you get to that point and it's dry and you don't like it, you would have to repaint it over and start over. You can still paint over it, but it is workable while it's still wet. So that's what I've learned on the glazes um, and stuff. The metallic is really easy. It goes on real easy, comes off. Um, and it's the biggest key I've noticed on all of Dixie Bell's products is everything requires a good shake before you use it. If you don't shake it, especially on the glazes, you're not going to get a good look. So shake, shake, shake. All right. It is 725. Give us about 15 minutes. We will finish on our second channel. If you don't know where that is, it is Chalk Tour Ken's Creations. Um, we're going to bring this all together for you. We'll see you there um, in a few minutes. Oh, I forgot to show you. Last bit. Um, I'll let before Sean ends, I gotta use the bathroom, but you can show him this. Let him know that goes live tomorrow and then you can end and then we'll be back on our other channel. Mm -hmm. Star Wars Christmas ornaments in different types of wood grain. 12. There's gonna be a couple of repeats only because I grabbed a few of the other ones too. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. So, the majority, these, 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 mahogany, black walnut, hickory, cedar, both sides, white oak, um, uh, cherry wood is this one, I believe, and this is also cherry wood. So there's going to be different types of woods. You can do you can do them all in the same kind. We may do uh, mixtures. I think that's what he might do. So if you want a different kind, um, they have woods on the other side. Like the black is black on one side, but it's got a different walnut on the other side. Um, you can stain these because it is true real wood. Uh, we're also going to look at doing it in the MDF type material. So if you want to paint them, you can. Like with Yoda, you can paint him green, or if you want to paint him white, or you know the r2d2 in different colors you can maybe him in gold uh, you can do that if not if you like that beautiful uh wood grain keep them as is but this is what we're going to be doing uh with those so that's what we're going to be doing check us out on the other uh channel in about 15 minutes we'll see you guys then thanks for everybody for joining us see you in the next one